Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phone uh, with uh, Her Excellency Ambassador Wafa Basim, uh, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Good afternoon. Uh, Ambassador uh, Basim, uh, uh, now uh, with the honoring uh, uh, that uh, the Egyptian women have received by uh, uh, the uh, First Lady, uh, Mrs. Intasar Sisi, and uh, the evaluation uh, provided for women by the First Lady of uh, Egypt, uh, uh, give us your impression or insight concerning this, please. Well, uh, of course, I mean, the that was quite an event that uh, we have to salute within the uh, context of the First Lady saluting the work and the achievements of these four ladies uh, in the different circles uh, while we are approaching or we are within the day where we are celebrating the International Women's Day uh, on the 8th. Uh, of March, and then we are going to celebrate the um, Egyptian Women Day uh, on the 16th of March. Uh, if we add to this, of course, that uh, the year before last year was the year of the Egyptian woman, um, and all the achievements that have taken place during uh, those um, months, uh, since that time, uh, since 2021, and even before, uh, whether it is the strategy, whether it is the different laws that have been enacted in favor of the Egyptian woman, uh, whether it is addressing the important issue that was there concerning violence against women, um, and uh, criminalizing such a um, such act of violence against women, uh, whether at home or at the place of work, um, I think there is a lot to celebrate. Um, and also there is uh, the marking of how much Egyptian women are now aware of the importance of their role the importance of their empowerment, the importance of them as an element of construction and building of the society. Um, if we look at all this, if we have a lady who took her master's degree at the age of 80, that means how far the import importance is the education has become for women. And there was that other lady who insisted at the age of 80 also to start learning writing and reading uh, at her age and which was held by the authorities but also by the president. Um, and we have so many examples of women uh, that deserve that we uh, award them, but the award of to these four ladies is in itself um, a symbol of recognition for uh, the achievements of Egyptian women, no matter the place they occupy, the work they do as young, or the role they play as long as they do it uh, from their heart, from their mind, exerting all their efforts. Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Basim, also uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, since he came to office, uh, he was keen on uh, the uh, uh, empowering of uh, the Egyptian uh, women. So women empowerment in Egypt uh, and what the women have achieved uh, until now uh, since President uh, Sisi came to office. Well, women, women have been having a very long um, history of struggle of work, uh, of a place they occupied, and then came that year of, uh, I would say, of drop down that happened to the cause of the Egyptian woman on the hands of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, 
Uh, but again, uh, it was important that President Ezeki, when accessing power, that he redresses this situation. And uh, let's say, bit by bit, uh, regain the confidence of women and give them the, all the credit they need to uh, restore uh, their um, uh, role, uh, their courage, their uh, willingness to help um, and to uh, contribute in the uh, uh, building of the Egyptian society. Let's not forget the role, the political role that women have played first when they went out on the 30th of June to refuse uh, an oppressive uh, regime that was going to bring them back a uh, hundred years in history uh, and not help them to uh, achieve their ambitions, their dreams, when they went out in referendum and uh, elections to choose the regime, to choose the leadership, let's not forget that they have played an important role in this respect. Yes, yes. Um, on the other hand, uh, also, um, they were given the chance lately to restore also their place and even to achieve uh, more uh, ascension of their uh, role and importance. Um, look at the parliament, for instance, uh, and the um, rate of women represented in the two chambers. Look at the uh, government, where we have eight ministers. Now we have in the governorate as well uh, more than uh, one lady who are occupying the post of governor and doing very well. Uh, look at the example of Damietta and other deputy governors uh, in other places. Uh, look at the, the educational staff, whether at university or at schools, where yes. women are more than 50% in the banking um, um, domain. Uh, women are more than 50% in higher decision-making places yes. so uh, oh, and, yes. and the, the and the role that now the Egyptian uh, the National Council on Women is playing in different uh, areas Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Ambassador Basim, also, uh, there was uh, several initiatives uh, uh, that was uh, uh, launched by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, presidential initiatives uh, for women. Also, uh, we would like to know uh, what are the most important uh, uh, laws uh, uh, and the decisions that were issued uh, uh, in favor of the Egyptian women? Well, there is, um, um, uh, there is of course, the... Um the law on uh, the family that are being discussed now and uh, the different comments that came uh, uh, concerning this, uh, this law. You have the, uh, the law, uh, um, it, it's not necessarily that it is a law, but uh, of course there, is, there are the law and the regulations on uh, uh, combating violence against women. Um, there is, um, um, there is all the efforts that are uh, being done, the different initiatives that are being done as far as uh, the, in, the economic empowerment uh, of women, her, uh, to grant her loans so she can make her own uh, um, projects or... Uh, um, medium and small enterprises. Um, you have uh, also the the, um, the initiatives concerning the uh, political participation of women. Uh, there is also the locking the doors uh, missions that are being done for 
um, awareness uh, for the women for their rights and the yes. rights of the family. We have a lot of them. I think uh, we, we would need hours to enumerate. Yes, yes. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information. I really had the pleasure to have uh, this phone with you, uh, Ambassador Wafa Basim, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and I'm going to be back with you. Thank you.